In this short video, we'll look at how to add a zero plane or a flat plane to your composite layout. To do that, we can access it from our 3D modeling tools. and We just need to click add a plane component with a zero height covering model. When you click that, you'll see in your 3D view that a flat plane will be added. If we go ahead and tile our views, you see that in our 2D view, you can't see that component at this time. If you go to your component tree, you'll see that the component exists, but we put it on its own layer called the zero plane, and we hide it on purpose so that it won't obscure any of your 2D vectors or other grayscale models. If we go ahead and turn that on, you'll see that there's the grayscale preview of that flat plane. We'll turn it right back off for a second. It's important to remember that this plane is like any other 3D component. If you select it, you get access to adding a base height, and also the floating properties dialog box where you have lots of other options to interact with that component. A zero plane will come in handy if you add in some clip art or can create a composite layout that may go below your modeling plane. And having that zero plane in there will be helpful to prevent some possible issues that you might have when it comes to machining a negative component. 